Hey guys, Rick here. Okay, this is my experiment going now. Okay, so what I've done is I, these are my split batteries, or batteries that are feeding back. You can see this little nifty thing here. This is what Armin came up with in the 95th. This is what I've been playing around with and nano coating, making these batteries. Okay, and so this is what my experiment is. The first battery, it's 27 turns on the beam with a 3 16 rod. Then on the splits, I did nine turns on each split. 20, and then so beam 27 times three, or 27 divided by nine is three. And so I did a one third transfer between two split coils. So on the first one is 27 turns on the beam and nine turns on the split coils. The second one is 45 turns on the beam using a 3 16 rod and then 18 turns on the split coils using a 3 8 rod. And then the last one I did here is a 64 turns on the beam with a 3 16 rod and 27 turns on the split caps with a 3 16 rod. The aluminum foil are all the same lengths. I used uh, 12 inches long, and depending on how wide it needed to be. Um, the first time I made these, the short one, I used the flame, and I distorted the aluminum, meaning it, it went almost to a melting point where it almost will rip apart. But I lightly distorted the aluminum. I don't know how to nano coat aluminum, so I'm learning. Um, the second one, I lightly painted the flame onto the aluminum. And what I mean by that is I went about the distance you would be for the copper and moved rapidly. So it just, it was like an invisible painting of carbon. So I'm willing it to be on there. I don't know if this works or not, but as far as the proper way of nano coating aluminum. So anyways, the first time I made that one, it was, I distorted the metal. And on this one here, I distorted the metal with the flame. That one, I painted it on there. I did not heat the metal up, didn't distort it, just painted the flame on. Well, when I checked them, there, that one was nothing. There was nothing in it. This one here was pretty impressive. When I first made it, it was at, uh, let's see, when I very first made it, here's the, it was... Right off the bat, I had 3.8 millivolts, and it went from 3.8 millivolts to 4.1 as soon as I put it together. An hour later, let's see, I moved the right one here. An hour later, it was reading 42 um, millivolts. So that one was promising. I didn't rebuild it, but I rebuilt the little one and I rebuilt the big one. Uh, when I rebuilt the little one, I did it differently. Uh, reused the same copper coils, but what I did differently was I did a light spray on the aluminum on each side, just a light spray of my cold caustic, and let that dry. And the bigger one, I painted the flame on there, just like I did this one. I used the torch, and I painted it, and I, I must have did it at least two times more than I did this one. Um, then when I put them together, again, I'm not seeing much from these. But what I do see, and I, it's a start. Let me hook up a meter here real quick. So you'll see that on this guy, okay, so I'm touching this guy here. This one, I might be a little shaky this morning. I've had my half a pot of coffee. So I'm grounded. Let's move that out of the way. So I'm grounded out to this one right here. And you can see it's 1.8 millivolts. 1.8 millivolts. And it, 
I've tried it both ways. It doesn't change uh, the reading on it. Then you can see at a close hand what this little connection looks like. Okay, now let's look at the next one. Only the big one. Now the big one, you can see I've got it grounded to my meter. I've got nothing on that. Absolutely nothing. And here. So it's holding. It goes up and down. I, I need to learn more. <laughs> so that's what I've got so far. Now I'll take them down and remake these again and see and try a different GANS combination. Um, this one here, it's now it, it fluctuates all over. If I touch different areas, I get different uh, millivolts through it. If I ground, oh, here's something. If I were to ground to the aluminum, let's see what I get here. So if I go, now I'm on the aluminum to there, before I was getting a higher reading, so that's, that's all. So I'm learning at this. Anybody got any ideas, send them my way, especially on nano coating aluminum. I'm trying to be as creative as I can, and I do remember Mr. Cash saying that you used fire. Um, but uh, how? Let me know. Thanks. Oh, let me show you something else. So I've got the little box. It, it works. So I've, what I've done is I'm powering up just so I'm producing my plasma. I'm not sending anything out of it, but at least it's absorbing the energy. I'm working on my capacitor. This one here, let me get this. Uh, this one is my split capacitor. What I've done here is this is a quarter inch straight beam coming through it, and the paper is about eight inches long again. Um, I'm in the process, this is my second one. Uh, and this is the split capacitor for my second McGrath. So I'm feeding it back to the gravitational. Um, with this, I, to fit it into the unit, I bent it. And I believe that was my problem. So I don't know 100%. But once I create it like this and let it dry, I bend it in the middle, a slight bend at about 22 degrees. And uh, it, it only allowed like 20 volts coming through it. Um, but it allowed all of the voltage, because that would be your line in at that bent side there, and it allowed all of the voltage to travel through the center capacitor. But it only would allow 20 volts to come through this side. So what I'm going to do this time is not bend it and see if that was my issue. But anyways, there we go on that one. Good luck. Talk to you soon. See ya.